Hi, my name is Eric Ma, and I'm a data scientist working at the intersection of biological network science and infectious disease, and I'm thrilled to share with you my knowledge on how to do network analytics. I hope we'll have a fun time together. Let me first ask you a question. What are some examples of networks? Well, one example might be a social network. In a social network, we're modeling the relationships between people. Here's another one, transportation networks. In a transportation network, we're modeling the connectivity between locations as determined by roads or flight paths connecting them. At its core, networks are a useful tool for modeling relationships between entities. By modeling your data as a network, you can end up gaining insight into what entities or nodes are important, such as broadcasters or influencers in a social network. Additionally, you can start to think about optimizing transportation between cities. Finally, you can leverage the network structure to find communities in the network. Let's go a bit more technical. Networks are described by two sets of items, nodes and edges. Together, these form a network, otherwise known in mathematical terms as a graph. Nodes and edges can have metadata associated for them. For example, let's say there are two friends, Hugo and myself, who met on the 21st of May, 2016. In this case, the nodes may be Hugo and myself with metadata stored in a key value pair as ID and age. The friendship is represented as a line between the two nodes and may have metadata such as date, which represents the date on which we first met. In the Python world, there's a library called NetworkX that allows us to manipulate, analyze, and model graph data. Let's see how we can use the NetworkX API to analyze graph data in memory. NetworkX is typically imported as NX. Using nx.graph, we can initialize an empty graph to which we can add nodes and edges. I can add, for example, the integers 1, 2, and 3 as nodes using the addNodesFrom method, passing in the list 1, 2, 3 as an argument. The graph object G has a .nodes method that allows us to see what nodes are present in the graph and returns a list of nodes. If we add an edge between the nodes 1 and 2, we can then use the g.edges method to return a list of tuples which represent the edges in which each tuple shows the nodes that are present on that edge. Metadata can be stored on the graph as well. For example, I can add to the node 1 a label key with the value blue, just as I would assign a value to the key of a dictionary. I can then retrieve the node list with the metadata attached using g.nodes, passing in the data equals true argument. What this returns is a list of two tuples in which the first element of each tuple is the node, and the second element is a dictionary in which the key value pairs correspond to my metadata. NetworkX also provides basic drawing functionality using the nx.draw function. nx.draw takes in a graph g as an argument. In the IPython shell, you will also have to call the plt.show function in order to display the graph to screen. With this graph, the nx.draw function will draw to screen what we call a node link diagram rendering of the graph. The first set of exercises we'll be doing here is essentially exploratory data analysis on graphs. All right, let's go on and take a look at those exercises.